What's up guys? I'm Chrissy Mack and I'm back with another mother video. Today's video is going to be a hair review on an AliExpress company by the name of Kalai Hair. Okay, so the actual pronunciation of the company's name is Kalai Hair. Kalai Hair. I didn't know that before I recorded the video. I heard somebody else say it in the video and they were saying it wrong, but it's actually Kalei hair. So Kalei hair reached out to me and was like, girl, do you want to do a hair review? And I was like, girl, hell yeah. So they sent me the hair. I am wearing their Malaysian straight and a 20 inch frontal and three 24 inch bundles. I think this frontal, I think they might have sent me a 24 inch frontal, but I'm not going to trip because baby, this frontal is so thick. AliExpress companies like, listen up, this is what we need. I am tired of those thin frontals, honey. So as somebody who shops on AliExpress, I know how it is, honey. You sit through all of those companies. Some of them have the same name. Like you don't know who's good, who's not. You don't know what reviews are true. So when they wanted to send me the, the hair, I was like, yeah, definitely send it to me so I can review it for my girl. Oh, if you're watching this video and you've made it this far and you have not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and lace up some shoes, honey. Like you gotta run me that fade. You gotta catch me outside. Catch me outside, how about that? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and turn on the notification bell. I think it's right down there. Okay, so my initial review of this hair is girlfriend. Honey, this hair has me in my bag. Who me? Girl, I know where I'm just in my bag. <laughs> if you're looking for me for the rest of 2019, I will be in my bag. Excuse me, Chrissy, we need you to work overtime. Oh, do you now? Sorry, I can't help you. Why not? Cause I'm in my bag, fuck you me. This hair has me feeling like me again, it's soft. Now, I don't wanna rave about how soft it is because I feel like that's the standard in 2019. If it's 2019 and you're still selling stiff hair, stiff wear. Ooh, ooh, stiff wear, stiff wear. For real, stiff wear. Ooh, ooh, no wear. Stiff wear. No ma'am, absolutely not. Even pack hair is soft when it comes out the pack. Y'all need to have soft hair. That's the baseline, that's expected. The hair has a lot of long strands, which I really like. It's not a lot of short pieces, it's a few, but nothing that couldn't be fixed with a little bit of silkening oil or just a very, very small amount of beeswax at the very top, just to get it to lay. Now I assembled this wig using the sewing machine method, so if you wanna see that video, it should be up here in the car somewhere. Just give it a little click, 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 or whatever, whatever. I put this unit on doing the ball cap method. I skipped the application part of the cap because there's like 18 million videos on YouTube on how to do that. If you guys want me to do that video in particular, just let your girl know down in the comment section or whatever, whatever. I did not tweeze this hairline at all. The frontal comes pre-plucked, which is a big deal for a lot of y'all because not everybody knows how to plug. You know, you get the plug in and you you don't need to do a little too much. You got a whole bald spot and there's no way to fix it. I did bleach the frontal. I did bleach it, but I didn't tweeze it at all. I wanted you guys to see how it would look if you were to take it out, bleach the knots, and then put it on. And I think it looks great. My glue is still drying. I'm sweating underneath here, honey. It's hot in these lights. But I, like I said, I didn't tweeze this at all. At all. That's how it came out. I will go in and customize it a little bit after I take it off for myself. Just a little bit, it really, honestly, it doesn't need a whole lot. I mean, I'll let y'all be the judge. My glue is still wet. I am sweating up under these lights, honey. I got my fan off. I turned the air up, but these lights are hot. So my glue hasn't cured all the way, but I'm not worried about that. As soon as I get off camera, I'm gonna wrap this sucker up, let her dry real good, and then I gotta go out. Somebody gotta see me, like my homegirls. <laughs> wake up, wake up, sis, cause we're about to go out. Somebody needs to see this. Honey, do you see the shake? Like. And it's full, I didn't even use, I didn't use all three bundles. I used about a good two and three quarters, two and a half. Like look, I still have hair left. If you wanna see how I applied my wig that I made using Kalai hair in the Malaysian straight, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get right into it. I sewed an elastic band on the back of the wig to help it hold a little bit better. And right now I'm going in with some face powder, the same one that I used on the ball cap in the same color as my skin, and putting that inside the lace to help it have that more natural look. Now I'm just placing the wig on my head and adjusting it to the right spot. The last thing you wanna do is glue it down and the wig is not perfectly centered or anything like that. I um, pre-molded the part with some um, setting lotion off camera just to kind of help it with the styling and um, yeah so right now I'm putting in clips to clip the hair out of the way 
because we are going to be gluing this unit down and I don't want any stray hairs getting into the glue because to me that takes away from the neatness of the look when you have random hairs kind of stuck under the glue. So I'm splitting the lace in two spots right here and then later on you'll see me split it some more. I think it makes the application process a little bit easier. That's just me though, you don't have to do that. And I'm going to clean up my hairline with some alcohol because I did do my makeup and I don't want any of that under the glue because that will diminish the integrity of the hold. I'm going in with Ghost Bond Platinum, that's my favorite glue, and I'm using a popsicle stick to apply it. You can use, you know, whatever you like, I just like using the popsicle stick. And I'm working in sections because if you work in three sections, by the time you're, you do the first one and you're done with the second two, your first section is already dry. So that's why I like to, to break up the application process into sections. One mistake I made this time, which I never do, but for whatever reason I wasn't paying attention, you can see I got some glue on the lace there. Make sure you pull that lace back far enough so that doesn't happen because it made it so much messier, like the process of laying the wig down was much messier. So I'm just going in with a little cool air to make sure the glue is really dry. And then I'm going to apply the wig in sections. I'm going to bring the wig forward to the edge of the glue, making sure even just the, the singlest of strands, making sure that they are right there at the edge of the glue. And I'm pretty sure singlest is not a word, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And right now I'm going to go in with the comb and simultaneously comb the hairs out of the glue, but push the lace into it. Like I said before, when you have hairs stuck to the glue, it takes away from the natural look. It looks messy. It, it just, it doesn't look good to me. If that's how you like your hair, then by all means it's slay. But for me, I don't like that. Only thing I want stuck to my forehead is the lace. And I want all the individual hairs to move freely for styling and like I said, so it can look natural. So I split the lace a little more to help with um, laying it down because it, the sections were just too big because I had all that glue on the lace. So I had to make, I had to go in and do that to make sure I got each section exactly where it's supposed to go. And then again, going in with that comb and lifting any of those hairs that may have gotten stuck to the glue because the glue will come through the lace a little bit. And just lift those hairs to make sure that doesn't happen. Now I'm going in with an eyebrow archer. I used to use scissors and kind of try to cut zigzag. But using this to me is so much better. Because it essentially, if you put the right amount of pressure on it, it tears the lace more so than cutting it. So it it's already jagged. Like it's not going to be a super straight line. And I don't like the super straight line. I prefer the more jagged line as far as the hairline goes. So that's why I use this for my lace and I don't think I'll ever go back to scissors. Like I really like how this looks really close up. And when you're using this, just be careful not to cut yourself with it. Take your time, go slow. You know, don't be in a rush. Set some time aside so you can really take your time and make it look nice. <laughs> your hair just cut the lace so now I'm gonna go in with a silk scarf to help melt the lace down into the glue I suggest if you do this like at least at a bare minimum you want to keep it on for an hour but I had stuff to do like I had to mom at some point you'll see me change my shirt because I had to go downstairs and cook but to try to speed it up I went in with um, a blow dryer on a cool setting on a cool setting to try to help the glue dry a bit faster but between my lights and me moving around so much it was just not it wasn't working um, now I'm going in and pulling out any hairs that might have gotten stuck from the silk scarf that will happen some hairs will get stuck and you don't want to leave those down next I'm just redefining my part using a hot comb and just comb it down so you know it's not lumpy or bumpy or anything like that and 
using that comb to get all those little tiny pieces out of the way. Um, the part may seem wider in some areas because the bleach got higher on some strands than others, but I'll fix that later on. I went in with a flat iron off camera because I figured y'all really didn't want to see that. Again, with the hot comb, now that I have the part exactly where I want it to be, make sure you get those edges because that's really going to help make your wig look a lot more natural. And then I went in with like some silkening serum from the generic brand that I got at Sally because they were out of bio silk. And now I'm just going in with that black pencil where the bleach kind of bled a little too high and some concealer to really to define the part. And lastly, I'm going to go in with that same powder from before just on the edge of my hairline to get rid of that, that wet look. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to give me that big thumbs up if you like this video. And go ahead and check out another, you know, another video or two, you know what I'm sharing. You go ahead and watch that. Don't forget to dream big, love hard, make mistakes, but boo thing in 2019, have no regrets. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.